2022 Esberg Ranch here. I, uh, I'm in the process of putting together the CNC machine I'm building and this video is completely out of sequence with everything else but I want to shoot it now because I'm going to get it out right away because it applies to anybody who is using uh, these Chinese ball slides and I'll show you show you what I found. Um, so this plate here is the saddle for my x-axis. All these holes were laid out and at a minimum they were spotted on the milling machine with a digital, R, uh, digital readout. So I'm real confident about their location. And these are all six millimeter holes. They've been countersunk. I'm using a, uh, a flat head screw. So they're gonna index to that taper every time. And last night before I closed up shop, I dry fitted this and it, it's, it didn't slide right, it was, it was all monkeyed up, and I was pretty concerned because down here, let me see if I can tip this down a minute. So, this plate here, all machined on the mill with a digital RO, um, somewhere in my folder over there is the uh, document, it's got all the, the spacing on it. And last night when I put this together, I dry fitted it. Most of the stuff wasn't bolted down, it just, it didn't roll right. I was little beside myself because all the pieces on here I've done everything I can to make them perfect sans one and that is this this tubing down here and I thought oh man big problem so I came out this morning and I cleaned up the tubing and I made sure everything fit and I started screwing things down kind of getting a decent fit and I got this I went got to the point where I'm gonna bolt this plate down okay this spacing here is very critical. I don't, I have almost no adjustability here, so it had to be spot on. Lots of holes, lots of places for things to go wrong, and sure enough, it was wrong. But the problem was, it was only wrong in one spot. I could put those screws in that one, the screws in this one, and the screws in this one, and this set of four holes was just completely out of whack. And I was, so uh, how, you know, I'm sitting here scratching my head going, how did I get three out of four right? I know that when I spotted all these holes, this was zero, zero. I know that these eight holes were completely done in the mill. Um, so even if when I finished these on the drill press, they were off, these four, or these eight should align. No dice. Let me show you what it looked like. In this hole down here, let's see if I can get my finger in there. Oop, wrong hole. In this hole here, see how you can see the edge down in there? On this edge, just, just by my finger now. Okay, that's the way it is in all the holes. It's misaligned, but just this one. So this whole deal, this slide's pretty good. Yeah, no complaints. But if I were to make it fit, a little stiff spot there. If I were to make it fit and pull things around to the point where I got this one here to have screws in it, it would just be bound up bigger than hell. Now, I'm gonna show you why. And this was the part that I said, oh, thank goodness. It's not me this time, but this is something you guys might run into if you're doing something where your hole tolerances are as tight as you can possibly get them. I can see where this might not be seen, felt, or even noticed if you were making one out of uh, wood a lot of guys are building uh, little routers out of uh, wood and using these or something that's got a lot of play in it where you where you could just assemble it and it would go together this you wouldn't notice this but if you're doing it the way i am you will so let me see now set the camera back down see if i can show you from behind the camera the spacing between that threaded hole and the outside of this casting here and the same spacing up here it's pretty obviously different. So if I just real quick take a set of verniers, I'm looking at uh, 150 thousandths from inside the hole. And you can see this. From inside the hole to the edge, it's 150 thousandths. On the other side, it's 196. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a 46 thousandths difference. This one's uh, 185. This one over here is 160. So you say to yourself, 
you say to me, you say, eh, Esper, Preston, whatever you're calling me these days. Yeah, so what? It could be just the thickness of the castings on the side. You know, it, it's as long as they are relatively concentric to the hole in the middle, you're set. Right. They're not. And I know they're not because I took all of these apart. I took this plate back off and I started looking and it just so happened the way that the bearings were laid down in here, it had turned the entire plate. So I took a look. I set up all the bearings the same, but I set them up so they were inwards this way. Well, then my holes were too close. So I turned them all around and my holes are too far. I turned one set back around, all my holes line up, I put it together, slides like money. Watch this. See if I got it right. Uh, I think I've got them exactly backwards. I think they need to be a little bit further apart. But, uh, some of the rattle you hear, yes, they're in expensive bearings, but I haven't adjusted the lash in them. That's what these screws are for. But the bottom line is if you do something like this and you go to screw it on and you go, oh crap, my holes don't line up, take a look at the bearings. The holes are not in the right spot. Fiddle around, turn them around back and forth and you'll get it. And then you'll go back saying, okay, saving a few bucks here was still worth it. So good luck guys.